Well, turning now to the pandemic and new today, a variant of the coronavirus is in Ohio. Researchers at Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center have found a new mutation of the virus in patients in Columbus. Obviously, this has a lot of people's attention around the state today. And to break it down for us, our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, joins us. Monica, I got to tell you, when I saw that, I was like, uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> well, let me make one thing clear, Betts. Viruses mutate. That is normal. It's nothing to be afraid of right now. It's what they do because their sole purpose is to find a host, replicate, and make more virus and move on. Now, what's unique about COVID-19 is how fast it's mutating and how quickly it's developing these new variants. Some researchers estimate it's changing slightly about twice a month. That's pretty significant and not what we typically see. However, it does not appear that the virus is becoming more deadly like we saw when it first appeared. But what we are seeing is that it is becoming far more contagious. But of course, the big question is, will the vaccine still work? We're not ready to, to, to overreact. We wanna make sure that we study these in the lab, that we get really good data, and that so far we know that our vaccines are very likely effective against this variant as well. But it's important that we keep our eye on these. Now, Ohio State researchers actually discovered two variants of COVID, both of which they believed were developed here in the U.S., and one that became the dominant strain in Columbus over a three-week period from late December to early January. Now, even though some research suggests that the virus is not as deadly, it doesn't mean it's not making people sick enough to go to the hospital. And the fact that it is more contagious is definitely worrisome, which means we really need to follow those mandates. Mask up, back up and vax up when it's your turn, Betsy. <laughs> I like that. Definitely a quick way to put it. Now, I know with all of this, you know, story that's been unfolding over the last year, it's kind of like we all have had to take a deep dive, a crash course, if you will, in biology. So if we go down into cellular <laughs> biology and whatnot, can you please explain to us the difference between a strain, a variant, and a mutation? All right, here's science class for you. I actually drew a picture for you, Betts. Um, COVID-19, of course, comes from the coronavirus family. That includes SARS and MERS and also the common cold. Now, each of those viruses is considered a strain of the coronavirus family. So then what happens, it, it starts to mutate. So look, see, here's COVID-19, and then you have all these little offshoots. Those are what are referred to as variants. So each of these are mutations. They become variants, but it's all part of one big family. There you go. Hope that makes sense. Oh my gosh. Biology made simple. Thank you so much, Monica Robbins. We appreciate it. And we're going to be talking to you a little bit more coming up in the next half hour about some exciting 2021 20, medical prospects. We look forward to that.